telling how well this is working right now um, so yeah we're just gonna we're gonna fucking wing it there we go <laughs> it is 6:55 on the east coast sunday april 8th 2013 and this is episode number 31 of the rest of the podcast right here on dau tv oh shit 31 my name is designated dave that is aj first time on rusty razor <laughs> <laughs> you got a tank over there. And Lurch. Hi. Nice. Beautiful. And Dom's the uh, the wizard behind the curtain. I'm back here somewhere. So yeah, a little bit of a weird setup, which I thought I prepared for, and I just really didn't. <laughs> but uh, so yeah, let's not waste any time because guess what? I've only got I've only got 64 minutes now. So we'll run through the plugs real quick. If you want to call us, the number is up there, 203-437-7442. Uh, you can also like us on Facebook, facebook.com slash Podcast. You are watching us on DIUTV.com. And there is also another show, which will be coming up right after this one. It's called the Lurch and Dom Live Broadcast. I heard someone's going to be angry on it tonight. Shh. Really? Who? I don't know, but I heard he's gay. Uh, go to DIUTV.com, click on Ask DIUTV, you can ask anyone on this show or the next show that follows, anything you want, and we will answer it to the best of our ability. Uh, YouTube.com slash The Real Do It Up, or Facebook.com slash Rich and the Angry Pirate. I always want to say Lurch and the Angry Pirate. There's something about that CH at the end. Uh, NEFWProWrestling.com, Lurch, that's still active? Yes. ActionFigureTherapy.com, BlackRoseMinerals.com, because guess what? Primo's part-time job still doesn't pay the bills. <laughs> AnyEntertainment.com, BankingBad.com, LTLRocks.com, Facebook.com, slash in the red, get in the red. And Lurch, wait until the last minute to be our random news retriever. Now, you know, normally I'd bust his balls on that. I really would. But for this week, I'm not going to because really there was no funny business in the news the past couple weeks. The only thing I found, uh, except for Lurch's $5,000 uh, swallowing the diamond in charity, was a woman called the cops because she saw kittens having sex in her front yard. Oh. That's awesome. Must have been the porn Andrew Barrett was watching. <laughs> <laughs> although, although there was one, I was on that same page. At 6.50 in the morning, there was a domestic violence call where a woman was arrested, charged, Bonded and released, and later that day, she was arrested again. Jesus Christ. Sonny was in the news again? <laughs> it wasn't in the news, it was in, it was in Wisconsin, don't you know? Okay, so, uh, plugs are done. No pre news goodness, except for Connecticut dead people and busted headlights and shit like that. You'll notice there's a couple scoreboards. Because instead of pre news goodness and actual news, I figured, what the fuck? We're just going to ask some questions and see what these people know about certain things about me. So, if uh, Lurch or Dom, if you wouldn't mind turning off the monitor, because I actually need to read these questions. And I don't want anyone picking up the monitor with what's on my screen. I played this game once already. Yes, you have. I almost beat Tina. That's pretty sad. <laughs> yeah, Tina does. So. You're like the fuzz of the group. You ever watch that 70 show? No, no, I've never watched that 70 show a day in my life. Really? Of course I have. He's way too comfortable. He's way too comfortable with his male friends. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, 
what we're going to do is they're basic, simple questions just to see what you guys know about me. Uh, we'll have to go by the honor system because when Lurch came over to my house and we played, I actually made them write down their, question, their answers on a piece of paper. So no one's like, oh yeah, I should use that answer. So most of these were done by Tina. Uh, so I thank her for uh, assisting me. So question number one. How many surgeries have I had? Um, how many what? How many surgeries have I had? Uh, I'm going to say two. I'm going with one. I haven't known you that long enough. <laughs> yeah, I think that's my answer to it. Maybe one. Mm -hmm. Uh, sorry guys, the answer's four. Oh shit. <coughs> one, one, two. Oh wow. And the knee? Uh, no, right ankle. Oh. oh yeah, no, I forgot about the two on the ankle. Yeah. Can't see the chat because cookies aren't enabled. Oh, that's alright, Tina. We'll wing it. Question number two. I'm a big MMA fan. How many UFC events have I attended live? Seven. Five. Nine. Six. Tank is the only one that's correct. I was gonna say none too. Motherfucker. <laughs> oh, I thought it was for me. So it's like it's like just oh, I was gonna ask the same question at the same time. Oh. Question three, how big is my TV? Sixty inches, I think. Fifty-five. Or fifty inch. Seventy-two. I wish. Oh no. Sixty-five. Fifty-two. That's close. Oh, I know they had it with two. Yeah, no. Number four, within three dollars, how much money is currently in my wallet? Two fifty. Three fifty. What, what was the question? Within three dollars, how much three money dollars. is currently in my wallet? Two fifty. Three zero. Tank again. <laughs> <laughs> my wallet is currently empty of any cash. I usually don't, I usually don't uh, carry on cash anyway. Uh, Tina want to be specific on this one. I don't wonder why you're freaking always checking out at Wells Fargo. <laughs> <laughs> I have. I don't think any of you are gonna get this right. But how much does a little deep deep weigh? Judging by the size of you, um, <laughs> I'm gonna say 27 pounds. I'm going 20, 25 pounds. No. Um, oh, I would say how old is he? Four months. Uh, right? No, no, ten weeks. So ten, just uh, ten two and a half months. So I would say ten pounds. No. Uh, Tank would be the closest. Oh, you yeah. guys are way fucking over. Well, I'm sorry, right. I'm about to say, like, you know, 27, 25, 20, and I'm like, <laughs> Tank's got kids. <laughs> well, that's why I asked what age. Yeah. Like, no, he's uh, just barely over twelve. Oh, okay. So. What is the largest amount in new, in uh, numbers of tacos in Tijuana that I've had in a single sitting? Holy shit. And you've told me this once, too. I'm going to go seven. Uh, I, I, I'm going to say ten. Eight. Uh, let's go with twelve. Twenty-seven. Jesus Holy shit. shit. Nine orders of three. Oh. you got to realize they're relatively small. Uh, besides, uh, uh, being the fact, being that I always wanted to be a wrestler, what's the one thing I always said that I couldn't do, even if it meant getting a contract? Suck Lurch's dick. Yeah, there's, I, 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 figure, I figure some of us are a little bit more mature than to go straight to the gay. Um, pull over John Cena. Uh, I, I had to wrestle him though, so I didn't. Suck Lurch's dick, I guess. <laughs> Vince McMahon. I couldn't wear contact lenses. I would have never gotten that. I, would have <laughs> I, I can't. I can't do it. I can't. It just. It does something to me. Uh, I love comedy, and most comedians. Who is my least favorite comedian? As in, who do I not like? Chris Rock, Dan Cook, Carrot Top. Don, what was your answer? I said, "Oh shit." <laughs> I was hoping you were saying your favorite one. Jeff Fox. I'm going to go with fucking Dan Cook. Uh, who else said Dan Cook? Both of you are correct. Can't so stand Dan Cook. We had this discussion when going to... When we got the Cheeseburger Madness, and yeah. I told you how Gabriel Iglesias follows me on Twitter. Yeah. And you said, when well, you talking to other comedians, I said I like Dan Cook, and you were like, fucking hate Dan Cook. I fucking hate Dan Cook. <laughs> of the four video game systems I own, how many are not modified? And what I mean by that is how many of them do I, can I not play bootleg games on? None. PS3. Oh, uh, no. None. You're going to say none, too. I don't know about four, so. 
Okay. Don't you have a Super I have Nintendo? An, I have an original. No, I, I actually got rid of that before I moved. Uh, I have an original Xbox and a 360, a PS3, and a Wii. Wow. Uh, I'm going to go with three then. I'm going to go with none. Three, actually. I'm going to still say none. Uh, the 360 and the PS3 are the only ones unmodified. The Wii and the original the I Xbox. I didn't think you can modify a Wii. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> That's what I was going for. No, you can, and uh, there's a reason I don't own any Wii discs, but I have, like, some 20-something games. All right, and, well, Tank's got the lead, so the best thing anyone can do is tie him, and that'd be the only ones who could tie him would be Lurch and Dom. <laughs> Lurch would probably get this right off the bat, so Lurch, I'm actually have you answer last. Okay. What cardinal rule does Tina break for me? There's always, a, there's always something I said about dating people. Uh, there's two rules that I said I would never break. Actually, there's three rules I said I'd never break. She breaks one of them. Which one is it? Far and out loud. <laughs> she doesn't flush the toilet. You know, I'm thinking maybe a point for that. Yes! <laughs> she fucks your computers up? No. You would never date anyone younger than your sister. That is correct. I would never date anyone younger than my sister. Still got a point though, that sounds fucking bad. Oh. <laughs> All right, I really did like that answer. I really did like that answer, AJ. No, because yesterday she actually didn't flush the toilet and I kind of like, so gross, seriously. I'm like, hey! I don't want to see what just came out of you, you know what I mean? <laughs> well, Lurch and Tank win. I don't know what you get. Take it up with, uh, take it up with Lurch. They get shot. <laughs> I should really load the fucking gun. <laughs> ah! Ah! Hey, what did you say about close range shots to the fucking neck? <laughs> that they're that was fully alive. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Uh. Oh, I could have read that. Oh, right in the ear. <laughs> Too bad they can't see a shooting on but. <laughs> now they can. <laughs> right in the throat, nice. <laughs> that was a dark kill. <laughs> Poor bastard, right in the throat. By the way, Bloodsport, that move can never get old. Oh. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> That's a good movie. Keep the pull no, out of the Alright, well that went That's a lot quicker pulse. than I anticipated. My nipple. <laughs> That's what she said. Eight. Well, see, I'm too close to AJ to show him right now. Fuck, well, you're a reach. There's your guts hanging out. What did I tell you about you wearing your bros, your wife beaters? <laughs> that again, my girl. Listen, I'm not out. I'm on my feet. He actually I'm came down to Bumps one day and he had a freaking. Uh, uh, tank top on him, and he was like, AJ, I took your advice, and he lifts up his shirt, I'm like, no, no, and I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> I'm going commando tonight. <laughs> Who just shot me? I did. <laughs> I did, buddy. <laughs> Shout out to Casey. No, no, no. <laughs> Casey, very unpleasant. Is there? <laughs> By the way, you used to taste the wrong right now. Casey like the tears of small children and young bitches. It yes! Right <laughs> <Yes. laughs> So yeah, this is what we're going to do from now on. We're just going to play... Uh, this is gun control oh. games and it's all your fault, Fowler. <laughs> thank you. Yes, thank Very you, Sean Fowler. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I actually thought that was going to go a little bit longer. A little longer. bit longer. Lurch, do you got anything to contribute for once? Um, well, you said not to do the news story, so I asked it. Uh, no, no, no. Uh, well, just figure out. Come up with something. Um, sure. Uh, so, at NEFW, uh, I guess the hardcore title is under 24 7 rule, and I'm going to try to figure out a way to win it. That's my contribution here because I'm trying to reload this gun because everyone's just like, okay, you know, we're just going to shoot Lurch. And, you know, I'm trying to shoot Dom, but I keep missing. It's small. Damn midget. <laughs> he is a little midget. Well, um, Actually, I saw a midget, uh, where was it at? Um, oh. me, me and Tina went to uh, somewhere yeah. yesterday and there was... Oh, oh no, it was, uh, it was a price chopper. And this person had to be a full-grown adult, was maybe about four foot seven, four foot eight. I'm like, Ooh. Sounds like my sister. <laughs> 
All right. She so was well, like four foot eleven and three quarters. <laughs> since I still haven't heard anything because I really haven't checked around on the internet about this. UFC event happened last night. Yes, it did. We will be covering that after our break. Okay, because I kind of want to know what happened because every time there's a fight on, and I want to come and watch the fight, I have previous plans. Yeah, well, that's your fault for making plans for Saturday. Tina was actually wondering. She's like. I wonder how come Mark hasn't wanted to come over? Did I make him mad or something? Is he alright? I'm like, yes, it's all Tina's fault. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, actually, you've been working the night shift. Yeah, no, I was working the night shift this week to you know pick up some extra cash. Oh yeah, which reminds me, they finally disabled my email. Ah, oh, that sucks. Well, it's not like, well, it's not like you can, you know, you can always put in like a couple different initials and the way oh, you're yeah. talking and everything. Oh, yeah. That's, that's like what I did with your email. When I yeah. sent you, uh, I, I, log, I uh, logged in to Lurch's work email and I sent him a message from his own work email. And I'm like, how'd that happen? Nice. Did you correct into it? No, it's, it's fucking easy if you, if you, uh, like their, uh, their email system accessing from the outside is really not secure. Even though they're all about security, you know, no cell phones, no fucking pens and paper, but yet their email system, you know, it's easy as hell. Well, I'm, I'm not gonna lie. I think our IT guys did the thing bad. Yeah, I've, 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 I've never seen the IT guy, and I'm like, that's the IT guy. Oh, you still work there? Hell no. No, because no, uh, we Newtown finally closed. Oh, they finally closed. So, and we opened up the uh, new office where they could talk about moving it. <laughs> yeah. And um, so, you still at the old office or the new office? No, I'm still at the old office. And all of, like the first two days of last week, everyone who works for us was in. The office I'm in, because mm-hmm. nothing was connected properly to like the servers and everything. So like literally, there were so many people there. Dummies. People, they would just tell, listen, if there's a desk and no one's logged in, sit at the desk. To the extent it was like we had a bunch of trainees there. They're like the new guy comes up, that you know the new trainer and everything. He goes, hey, by the way, you're gonna train this guy. <laughs> okay. Does that mean I get to actually? talk to people on the phone and not leave 1,200 million voicemails? Yes. <laughs> awesome. Hence, three of us have no idea what the fuck you're talking about. Uh, you want me to contribute something? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, 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 he, and he has done sufficient contributing. Thank you, Rich. No problem. And honestly, otherwise, the only thing I can say, my work week was actually not that bad. It was actually pretty productive. I got to be a productive member of society for once. Really? Yes. Holy shit. All right. Well, anyway, is coming up next. We're going to go into a quick music break. Uh, I didn't want to run through all my music folders, so I actually just copied a whole bunch of Den of Thieves from their 1993 release. Explicitly titled Den of Thieves. You can't get it. It's out of print. Have fun finding it. Uh, it's a San Diego band I used to, uh, I knew personally. This is funny. I tried out for a band called Den of Thieves, but uh, they were kind of old. So. They <laughs> <laughs> wanted to be a metalcore band. <laughs> I made that decision easy for. Ow! Oh, 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 oh. Holy shit, Tank was nice. bad. <laughs> that was pretty Man, he turned redder than the horn. Wow. Nice shot. Nice <laughs> <laughs> You should put these away for it. Yeah, you know, like, Alright, we're gonna go with uh, Nothing But the Truth and Tar Baby. It is 7 13 p.m., and this is the Rusty Razor Podcast on DIU TV. Actually, I don't know what's coming through, what's not. Check. Microphone's still coming through. Easiest way is just to load the music right into the wire. Yeah. Yeah, we're still talking. They can't hear the music at all? No, it's just us talking. <laughs> oh! Okay. Just us talking. Lurch, don't touch me there. <laughs> Lurch, it's just stop! <laughs> just kidding. 
sir. <laughs>
Yeah, just, just as long as my son, you know, I don't. Is it wrong of me to hope my son doesn't end up gay, but would still love him no matter what? No, I kind of like grandchildren. Like you at all? No. Okay. Because I think the same thing. Just said he'd be in the life for Lurch of what Lurch is involved in. <laughs> yeah. All right, mixed martial arts news. We got to go back at least a week. UFC on Fox, Henderson versus Melendez, April 20th from San Jose. UL Romero defeated Clifford Starks by a knockout via flying knee and punches, 132 to the first. Not bad for a debut, got an additional 50 grand for knockout of the night. Anthony Andrew Kawani defeated Roger Bowling, knockout via punch, 252 round two. Chad Mendez defeated Darren Elkins, TKO via punches, a minute eight in round one. Matt Brown defeated Jordan Maine. Main, main, main. I'm from China now. Uh, TKO via punches and elbows. One minute into round two, that one fight of the night, fifty grand. Josh Thompson defeated Nick Diaz. Yes. Fuck you, Nick Diaz. Uh, Nate Diaz, your brother. Oh. Uh, TKO via head kick and punches, 344 into round two, that one knockout of the night. Daniel Cormier defeated Frank Mir in, in a match that absolutely sucked, and I didn't mind missing the first two rounds of it once I watched the replay. Uh, unanimous decision, 30 to 27 across the cards. And Benson Henderson defeated Gilbert Melendez by split decision, 47 48, 48 47, and 48 47 to retain his UFC lightweight title. A lot of people, including a lot of the commentators, thought that uh, Melendez won rounds one, two, and three. Uh, I didn't see the fight. I actually fell asleep during it. Uh, there's talk about a possible immediate rematch, although that seems to be a pattern in the lightweight division. Let me give you the last six title matches in the UFC lightweight division. BJ Penn and Frankie Edgar, which Frankie Edgar won by unanimous decision, and they figured that was too close, so they granted an immediate rematch. Frankie Edgar defeated BJ Penn by unanimous decision. Frankie Edgar and Gray Maynard fought to a draw, so they fought again, and Frankie Edgar won that by knockout. Frankie Edgar, defe uh, Frankie Edgar faced Ben Henderson, and Henderson won by unanimous decision, but they said that was too close, so they granted another immediate rematch, which left Ben Henderson winning against Frankie Edgar. Yeah, there have been uh, one, two, three, four, five, six rematches in the last six fights in the UFC lightweight title picture, so it's getting a little old. And of course, Lurch wanted to know what happened last night. UFC 159, Jones versus Sonnen. Cody McKenzie defeated Leonard Garcia by unanimous decision, 29 to 28 and 30 to 27 on two judges' cards. I got a funny story about Leonard Garcia coming up. It's really, really funny. Sarah McMahon defeated Sheila Gaff, TKO via punches, 406 into the first. Owen St. Pru defeated some guy I can't even pronounce his name. We'll call him Bobby Smith. Majority <laughs> technical decision. It's the first time I've ever heard of a fight going to a technical decision. This event had two of them. Uh, basically what a technical decision is, is if you commit an accidental foul that ends the fight in the third round, you go to the judge's scorecards instead of it being a no contest. Uh, OSP won this one 30 to 28, 30 to 29, and 29 to 29. Uh, and this card actually also had a fair share of injuries. Uh, the reason I went to a technical decision is because uh, dude got a massive poke in the eye. Couldn't Ooh. continue fighting. 
Uh, uh, Rustam Kabilov defeated Yancy Medeiros, TKO due to a broken thumb in the middle of the fight, 232 into round one. Yeah, this dude's thumb looked like it was pointing in two directions. Wow. Oh, shit. Pat Healy defeated Jim Miller, RNC, 403 into the third. This one, both submission of the night and fight of the night. Phil Davis defeated Vinny Magalish by a unanimous decision, 30 to 27 on two cards and 29 to 28. I don't agree with the 29 to 28 because Vinny Magalish didn't do shit. Roy Nelson defeated Czech Congo via knockout, 203 into the first, which won knockout of the night. Uh, Michael Bisping defeated Alan Belcher, unanimous technical decision due to another eye poke. 30 to 27, 29 to 28. And John Jones defeated Chell Sonnen, uh, TKO via punches, 433 in round one to retain his UFC light heavyweight title. Uh, here's the thing. After the fight was over, John Jones had this really nasty, and I'll show you guys in a bit, he had this really nasty broken fucking toe where I think if it would have gone, uh, if it would have got out of the first round, John Jones would have lost because of that injury. Because he wouldn't have been able to continue fighting. So had, uh, had Chelsea Sonnen been able to hold on for 20 more, 27 more seconds, the uh, things might have been different. All right, Ronda Rousey is opening as a 7-1 favorite over Kat Zingano. Although their bout is more than six months away, odds makers have already placed Ronda Rousey as a 7-1 favorite over challenger Kat Zingano. Uh, Rousey is undefeated in her MMA career and has finished every opponent by armbar in the first round. Uh, today, uh, bestfightodds.com listed Rousey as a, seven, as a minus 765, meaning one would have to bet $765 to win $100. Jesus. Yeah. On the other hand, Zingano at f plus 455, a $100 bet would win $455. Should she be able to do what no one else has been able to, and that's defeat Ronda Rousey. Coming out of last night's fights, Chael Sonnen is contemplating retirement. Everyone thought if Chael Sonnen had a chance on Saturday night, it was through aggressive, relentless wrestling. As it turns out, he didn't have a chance. Uh, now, 16 years after his first professional MMA fight, Sonnen is thinking about a future besides not in the cage. Quote, I don't think I've been taken down three times in my career. He took me down three times in the first round, says Chael Sonnen. Chael Sonnen admitted Jones embarrassed him with his performance at the Prudential Center. Despite a badly broken toe, Jones finished Sonnen with an unrelenting ground and pound, 433 into the first. Quote, I've had a lot of fights not go my way, but I've only been beat up twice, and that was the number two. And he beat me at my own game. I like to fight, but I love this business. And there are so many opportunities that are out there that weren't here a few years ago, and broadcasting is one of them. Chelsea Sonnen is a staple in virtually all of the Fox-produced UFC content. Uh, uh, Dana White said last week that the network television channel wanted to use Sonnen in an expanded role, so it's not like he'd enter retirement with nothing to occupy his energy. After knocking out Czech Congo last night, Roy Nelson says he wants a title fight. Daniel White says not quite yet. He says he'll either be facing Mark Cunt or Daniel Cormier, uh, although both of those guys have fights within the next two months. Cunt? Mark Cunt. Is he king of cunts? Yeah. He's a damn burner, too. <laughs> He's a damn burner. All right. There's a video, which actually I'm only going to play the audio of. Um, and uh, okay, let me just do this. It's a uh, Rich's favorite fighter, Ronda Rousey, discussing uh, a couple things. Boobs, douchebag boyfriends, and other things. That's not the transgender one, is it? No. Okay. Ask me a question. Hey, shit. Did, uh, do you think we should get a boob job? All right, let's come back live. And I'm actually just going to play the audio from it. No, but I think she probably wears like a push-up bra under her sports bra. No, I think she just wears a push-up bra. That's just a theory. Just, we can't hear um, I don't know. She is like... Wow. <laughs> Okay, okay. Uh, it's not like I'm checking these girls out, but I notice things. And she's like, and either she's got some really awesome perky titties, or you know, it's something else. I don't know. Or maybe that's just what happens when you're a mom. You just get, you know, nice jugs. That's one thing. 
it's kind of awkward to say, but it's something I've always asked to ask a, a female MMA fighter is, like, breasts weigh, weigh pounds, you know? Like, does that affect weight cutting? Like, will that put a certain fight in a different weight class? Uh, yeah. I mean, I am have that body type where, I, like, I lose weight from my chest first and last last. So, you know, uh, I have easier cuts than some girls that have the reverse problem, I think. Or the reverse system. I have an efficient system. <laughs> you almost had another wardrobe malfunction with Kat and uh, Misha. Looked yeah. like a little side boob was about to pop out. Side boob. What are we going to do uh, to prevent that? I know you almost had a few issues. Oh, well, the problem is, I like, with getting your fight gear it's such like a scramble you know and like everything's last minute and all these sponsor things and little da da and like I don't even get to go and try on the stuff and pick it you know and I told them like can you give me the same exact outfit from Coffin and they order it and you know they screw up and give me two of the wrong kind of bra and then I'm stuck I only got these ones with logos on it so I can go buy another one or get them printed the day before the fight so I can make you know make do it's so, like oh I'll put another bra underneath and maybe that'll work and it's just like you know, the guys are so easy, it's like, shorts, there you go. <laughs> you know, the chicks, it's a little bit more difficult because it has to fit right, and it's so hard to be able to find what fits and then go and do it and then whatever, you know, it's just. What do you think of the rash guard? Rash guard, like wearing a rash guard? Yeah. Um, I don't know, I mean, I kind of like having like skin on skin because like as a grappler, like I move faster and like I slip out of things and it's like um, a lot of, that's why I think I laugh when these girls like try to grease up, like they think it's gonna help them. I'm like, dude, that's just gonna make my transitions faster. It's not, you know. Um, so I kind of like um, things being a little more slippery. <laughs> it's gonna be construed the wrong way. Ronda lubed up. <laughs> so yeah, if your girls are greasing, you're just helping me out. So you better not put lotion on the day of the f you're screwing yourself, sorry. Does that happen pretty often? Um, there were a couple girls um, that were like super slippery. Like I remember Julia Budd was super slippery. I, like I think she put like a bunch of lotion on or something like that, and you like you sweat it out later. You know, it's not like. But whatever, if they think it's helping them, whatever you do, whatever you like. But I'm just telling you right now, it doesn't help you. You saw Misha briefly after the fight. It looked like you said good luck to her. Uh, was there animosity in the air even after her fight with Kat, Kat Zingano with you guys? Uh, as a fighter, I completely respect Misha. I think that she's an amazing fighter and she's a tough chick and she definitely has my respect. She just doesn't have my affection. You know, so I tell her, you know, it was a great fight and, you know, I think that that first knee that she got was an illegal knee and I do think the fight stopped early. I mean, Kat did an amazing job. I mean, you know, it's just unfortunate and as a fighter, I empathize with Misha a lot. Like at the press conference, like I saw like how hurt she was and how like she, it like it breaks you a little bit on the inside. And um, as a fighter, you know I empathize and and respect that. So you know she she always has my respect. But we're not gonna be having slumber parties. <laughs> Never. Never. After, like, you, know. you know what? Like she seems like a cool chick apart from her pet boyfriend. You know, like he just seems like the biggest douche ever. And if you have a douche in your ear 24/7, you know you're gonna uh, ad adapt the vernacular of douchebaggery. You know. People wonder why you have it so bad for Brian Kerway. Was it because of the the comments that he made about knocking your teeth down your throat if he ever fought you? Is that what what? That's started partly. This whole that's partly what it is. But I mean, just. You could just tell, man, he's got nothing going on for himself except for her. And I think that she would be doing way better without him. I mean, why is him, this random wrestler guy, never really did anything, never really did anything in MMA, holding mitts for Misha, who's fighting for a world title shot? It's ridiculous. If you ever saw that in boxing, you'd laugh your ass off. It's just like, she has so much more talent than is being expressed. I think that if she wasn't have anything to do with Brian Carraway and she had like a good structured team behind her, she definitely would have beat Kat, for sure. That's what I think. Was there anything that impressed you um, about either one of the girls uh, during the fight? Yeah, I mean, um, pace really um, impressed me a lot. And um, just the whole like aggression of it, how offensive they both were impressed me. Um, I, I, uh, and like Nisha's takedowns look really, really good. Um, she might be able to get her, her nickname back. 
for a while. <laughs> Best two women's fight in the UFC and both seem to have stolen the show. How happy does that make you? I was so happy. I had my fingers crossed. I was like, please guys, do good, do good, do good. And um, for them tonight, I mean, that, that that's amazing. I'm so happy for them, you know, and it's, like I say it all the time, we're rising all boats and I want them to do well I do I don't want them to beat me but I want them to do very well so um yeah I'm super stoked and um, I heard that uh, Julie Kedzie and Jermaine Durandami are fighting and uh, Jermaine's got some sick Muay Thai but you know Julie Kedzie's one of the most well-rounded women's MMA fighters I've seen so we'll see I'm excited about that Ask me a question. Did, uh, do you think we should take that boob job? Like, there's a five-second delay, so there we go. Alright, so what's the next fight? Okay. Alright, so what's the next fight? Okay. Alright, so what's the next fight? Okay. Alright, so what's the next fight? There, okay, I don't know what we did, but we're good. <laughs> we still sound going through? Yes, we did. Okay. Right. So, what's the next fight? Um, well, we're going to get to that. Uh, Leonard Garcia has said that Christianity has made him a better fighter. And I do not apologize for any, offending any Christians that may be in the room because I don't care. Leonard Garcia is currently on the worst skid of his career, a four-fight losing streak, albeit the last three by decision. Garcia is known as a fighter who puts it all in the cage and has often been involved in some of the best fights and most memorable fights in mixed martial arts. But staying in the UFC is eventually about, has to be about winning, not just entertaining, and Garcia knows that. What is the biggest change he's made to, uh, that he thinks will contribute to turning his career around? His turn to Christianity. He, uh, uh, Garcia says, you hit the nail on the head. One of the biggest changes for me lately was that I turned to Christianity for the last 10 months. I found my inner peace. I'm a lot calmer. I'm a lot better guy to be around. It made me listen to what the coaches were saying to me and not just hear it in one ear, not the other. And that's one thing that has helped me do. I've been listening a lot more, and it's made me hungrier as a fighter and made me a lot uh, uh, smarter fighter. Well, guess what, dude? Your Christianity made you lose another fight last night. You are now five losses in a row and more than likely will be released from the UFC come Monday morning. All right, that's all for Mixed Martial Arts News. Coming up events, there is actually no fights until May 18th. UFC on FX, Belfort versus Rockhold. It also includes Costa Filippo versus Jacare Silva. May 25th, UFC 160, Velasquez versus Bigfoot 2 for the UFC heavyweight title. That also includes Junior Dos Santos versus Mark... Cunt. Glover Teixeira versus James Tahuna and Dominic Cerrone versus KJ Newton. That's your new freaking fighter, favorite fighter, not because of his name. Well, Mark Cunt. Actually, Mark Cunt's a badass. Uh, June 8th, UFC on Fuel TV. Uh, Rodrigo Nogueira versus Fabricio Verdum. Did you go through high school like that? <laughs> We're just like, yeah, I remember. <laughs> High school sucked. Okay, just a great one. June 15th, one, UFC 161. Uh, Burrell versus Wineland for the Arab UFC Bantamweight title. This one's actually a stacked yes, card. Shogun Hua versus Rogerio Nogueira. Rashad Evans versus Dan Henderson. Pat Berry versus Sean Jordan. And Jake Shields versus Tyron Woodley. July 6th, UFC 162. Silva versus Weidman for the UFC Middleweight title. Chan Sung Jun versus Ricardo Lamas. Mark Munoz versus Tim Boach. Frankie Edgar versus Charles Oliveira. Dennis Seaver versus Primo's favorite fighter, Cub Swanson. Tim Kennedy versus Roger Gracie. And Dave Herman versus Shane Del Rosario. And July 27th, UFC on Fox. Johnson versus Mar Raga for the UFC flyweight title. Roy McDonald versus Jake Ellenberger. Robbie Lawler versus Tarek Safadine. Misha Tate versus Liz Carmouche. A hot chick versus a lesbian. Cool. Michael Chiesa versus Reza Madadi. Brendan Shaw versus Meathead. And Julie Kensey versus Jermaine Derondemi. It's actually going to be the first time in the UFC that two women's fights are on the same card. Well, uh, there's no, not going to be any wrap-up. There's no reason to go into more music, because guess what? It would probably screw up anyway. So, 
Uh, the plugs are in the ending video. We're going to go ahead and wrap it up right now. Lurch and Dom comes on in about 20 minutes. And in the meantime, we're just going to load up and shoot each other. Oh, God. I got the broken one fixed. <laughs> I ask for amnesty on this until I get loaded, please. Wait, why does he get amnesty? So I'm like, never loaded. Oh, right at the fuck there. So much for Air, air, air. Yeah, but you're two of the only ones on the camera. That's what's funny. <laughs> yes, right off the head. head. This is bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you're on the camera now. Yeah, it works. Oh, hi. <laughs> uh, 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 we know. We'll get this thing sorted out eventually. Yeah, by uh, by two weeks from now, it should be all uh, all uh, good. <laughs> In the hood, y'all. And uh, thankfully, Lurch was on the camera to receive that shot. Right yes, above the fucking eyeball. <laughs> Seriously. Don, where's the Brooklyn brother? <laughs> <laughs> All right, I so I thought he was doing a duck ball shorts today or something. I don't know. So uh, here comes the ending video. Uh, thank you for tuning in to the Rusty Razor. <clears throat> Stay tuned. Twenty minutes from now, it's the Lurch and Dom live broadcast. Bye. Fuck! That shit hit me in the fucking head! with that fucking gut hanging out. Oh, oh, oh my god. god. I haven't laughed that hard in so long. Yes, I was just, it was a little girl. <laughs> oh, I'm fucking crying right now. Oh god, Ooh. that was great. Pissed off my gun's fucking broken. Okay, you can have the broken one here. Oh, okay. Let me see that one. You gotta find the pin knot. Yeah. It, it's somewhere in this mass of front of my hands. Good thing. Uh, father, when you cut more. <laughs> Shotgun preferably. <laughs> oh. Oh. That's a great way to end it.